Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in today's lecture, we shall talk about uh, ratings of uh, transformers. Uh, whenever you purchase uh, a transformer, there is a nameplate on it which describes the ratings for the transformer. Uh, these are generally the ratings which are mentioned on the nameplate of a transformer. We shall talk about uh, all these ratings one, one, one by one. We will start with the current rating. So the maximum current that uh, the transformer can uh, handle is uh, described by the ratings, uh, these ratings. Uh, basically when current flows in the windings of the transformer, uh, it uh, produces heating in the transformer. There is a resistance of uh, copper winding and when current flows through the uh, windings of the transformer, there are I square R losses. And these losses are in the form of heat and the heating, if uh, it is, uh, there is excessive heating that may melt down the windings of the transformer and thereby damage the transformer. Therefore, there is a limit on the maximum current that can be handled by the transformer and uh, uh, this is described by the current ratings. Uh, another uh, important rating is the voltage ratings. The maximum voltage that can be applied to the transformer that is also limited and basically uh, there are two factors which limit the maximum voltage that can be applied to the transformer. First uh, aspect is insulation. So the windings that are there on the transformer and also the insulation among the windings uh, that is designed to handle a uh, certain maximum voltage and therefore we cannot apply a voltage higher than that uh, particular voltage because that will damage the insulation and hence will damage the transformer. This is one aspect. There is another aspect which uh, limits the maximum voltage that can be applied to the transformer. Uh, to understand it, let's again uh, see the relationship between the flux and the voltage. We know that if uh, a flux uh, in the transformer that is related with the voltage by this expression. Phi of t is equal to uh, this relation relates the flux uh, flowing in the transformer and the primary voltage that is applied to the transformer. If uh, we apply uh, this primary voltage Vp of t then flux will be given by this relation. That is the maximum uh, maximum value of the flux that depends upon the maximum value of the applied voltage and if uh, there is an increase in the uh, maximum value of the applied voltage there will be an increase in the maximum flux flowing through the transformer now you remember the magnetization curve on the magnetization curve uh, on real axis is the MMF and on the vertical axis is flux. And you know that MMF is equal to number of turns multiplied by the current, in this case the magnetization current. What we observe from here is that we cannot increase flux beyond a maximum limit. Why? Because, for example, if we increase flux beyond this value, there will be significant increase in the magnetization current. So uh, if we for example apply this flux, if this flux is flowing, this uh, is the time axis and this is flux, corresponding to this flux we can sketch the magnetization graph for the magnetization current, this is time axis and this is magnetization current. For this particular flux, uh, we can sketch the graph for magnetization current as we have uh, already talked about in one of previous lectures. So this much magnetization current is flowing. However, if we increase the flux which is flowing uh, through the transformer, even though there is not a significant increase in the flux, but that will result into much larger increase in the magnetization current.
because now this magnetization curve enters into the saturation region hence increasing the primary voltage will result into an increase in the flux and increase in the flux will result into significant increase in the magnetization current and uh, the transformer uh, is designed to handle a particular current therefore the second aspect which limits the maximum voltage that can be applied to the transformer is the magnetization current uh, this is the second uh, important rating for a transformer and this voltage rating is basically governed by two aspects the insulation uh, can handle a maximum voltage the second aspect is the magnetization current but because increasing the voltage will result into increase in the magnetization current and hence uh, the maximum voltage that can be applied to the transformer is limited the third important uh, rating for the transformer uh, is uh, the frequency uh, transformers are designed to work for a particular uh, for a voltage with a particular frequency uh, what will happen if uh, the transformer is operated at for example higher frequencies or at lower frequencies that is also apparent from uh, this expression voltage on the primary side that is related to the flux flowing in the transformer by this relation that is for this uh, particular uh, primary voltage this will be the flux and we can see that uh, by changing the frequency maximum value of the flux that is flowing in the transformer that is also changed increasing the frequency will result into decrease in the uh, maximum flux and decrease in frequency will result into increase in the maximum flux and what is uh, the implication of increasing the flux that is depicted over here increase in flux will result into increase in the magnetization current hence uh, if uh, we operate a transformer at a frequency uh, lower than the rated frequency we have to reduce the uh, maximum voltage that can be applied to the transformer for example if uh, a transformer is um, designed to work uh, at uh, uh, let's say 1100 volts primary voltage on primary side and it is designed to work at 60 hertz and we want to operate the same transformer uh, to work at 50 hertz we cannot apply a voltage uh, higher than this value that is uh, so if we uh, operate this transformer which is designed to work at 60 hertz at a voltage uh, with a 50 hertz then the maximum voltage that can be applied to the transformer has to be scaled accordingly so that this ratio remains uh, fixed and similarly uh, if uh, we apply uh, if we operate the transformer at higher frequency uh, this voltage rating uh, can be uh, slightly increased provided other uh, aspects are not uh, uh, other limitations are not violated another very important uh, rating of uh, transformers is the apparent power rating uh, power ratings of electrical machines are, are always provided in apparent power rating uh, there is a maximum uh, voltage that can be applied to the transformer there is a maximum current that can flow through the transformer therefore there is a limit on this product VI and that product uh, is the apparent power rating for a transformer uh, this is uh, volt ampere rating uh, another uh, very important point uh, to remember uh, for electrical machines and also for transformers is that uh, if you have a transformer for example which has a power rating of 100 VA and voltage rating on the primary side let's say of uh, 100 volts uh, so if we operate the same transformer with uh, a voltage of 50 volts on primary side what will happen to the maximum power what is the maximum power that that particular transformer can handle 
Is it the same 100 volt ampere or we have to change it somehow? So, if we operate the transformer at smaller voltages, we have to reduce its power rating as well. Why? Because uh, in this particular case, uh, this uh, 100 volt ampere rating that gives you uh, that gives us information that is for this particular uh, voltage the current that can be handled by the transformer is 1 ampere and if we apply smaller voltage still it will be able to handle the same current because there is a maximum current that can be handled by the transformer so uh, therefore this volt ampere rating uh, should also be reduced if the transformer is operated at low voltages. The ratings of transformers uh, can be uh, slightly increased by uh, cooling. So, if you if you have uh, forced cooling, then uh, you can remove the uh, excess uh, heat uh, that is uh, produced by the I square R losses or uh, you can remove that particular heat and therefore current ratings and hence uh, also the power ratings can be increased for a particular transformer.